Hey guys, welcome to another uh, math lesson on periodic functions. And today we're going to talk about what a unit circle is. And uh, we're also going to talk about how to construct a right angle triangle within the unit circle. And uh, later on we're going to use these tools to help us define some deeper concepts in uh, periodic functions and how it relates to trigonometry. So the first thing you want to do is open up GeoGebra where we're going to construct the unit circle and what we're going to do is use the circle tool and we're going to pick circle with center and radius and we're going to click the origin and we're going to have a radius of 1 and you can see that we have a really small circle so what I'm going to do is use the move graphics view button I'm going to drag it to the middle of the screen and I'm going to zoom in onto it so it's a decent size okay the next thing that I want to do is I want to create a new point somewhere on the circle, uh, preferably on the top right hand quadrant, so within this half, within this quarter quadrant. So draw a point, and what I'm going to do is click on segment between two points, this tool here, and I'm going to join up point B with the center. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a perpendicular line. And this perpendicular line tool, and I'm going to click the point B. I'm going to click the X axis. So you can see that wherever I drag point B, this line follows point B and it is always perpendicular to the Y axis. And the last thing I want to do is I want to create a new point which is uh, at the intersection of the X axis and the circumference. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a segment from point A to point C and I'm going to create an angle which goes from this segment here point A to C which is called D so click on the segment D on the left hand side menu click on that and then click on segment A and you'll see that it creates an angle between them which tells us is 40.07 and you can see that as you drag point B around on the screen, the angle adjusts to whatever angle this line is making with the horizontal. And here is our right angle triangle. From point A to B, down to the x-axis, back to point A. This is our right angle triangle. And if you drag point B around, to the other side this angle becomes bigger than 90 degrees and still we have a right angle triangle on the other side uh, even though point B is now uh, 128 degrees uh, from the uh, first quadrant and you can drag this point B all the way around back to the origin. So once you have set this up, you have correctly set up the unit circle in the right angle triangle and we can continue with uh, the next periodic functions tutorial. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.